desperate and super confused for your future? There are quite a reasonable amount of courses to choose from, a really good one being BVSC and AH, that is Bachelors of Veterinary Science and Animal Husbandry. Have you heard so much about veterinary science that you are actually unsure whether or not it could be a good career option? Make sure to watch this video till the end and I hope I am able to clear most of your doubts. Hi, I am Muskan Modgill, a second year veterinary student and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, we will be talking about two main topics. First, what is the current as well as the future scope of veterinary science in India? And second, how to actually become a veterinarian in India? So let's begin. Talking about scope and general facts, we'll subdivide this topic into two categories. A. What is the scope in reference to the statistical data? And B. What is the scope of veterinary science based on your own unique personality? Let's get clear with the facts first. One of the major criteria while deciding the future scope of any profession, we take into account are the job opportunities available in the future and what are the chances of personal growth? In India, we currently have around 50 veterinary colleges and each year they produce 2100 veterinary graduates. The livestock sector in India is beaming with opportunities. As the animal population is increasing, there is an increased demand of veterinarians as well. However, at the current level, 60,000 veterinarians in India are required to cater to the demands of cattle population alone. And we only have 63,000 registered veterinarians in India. This clearly depicts the scarcity as well as the importance of veterinarians. Also, if you feel that you will be only bound to working in a clinic, that's also not true. There are plenty and plenty of job prospects for veterinarians in many major fields such as research, wildlife, teaching, public health, food production. You can also serve as a veterinarian in the Indian Army. And if that's not enough, you can also go for entrepreneurship that is starting up your own business. If not, you can also go for your higher studies like the Masters or even the PhD, specializing in your favorite field. You can also become a surgeon or work in the critical and emergency care unit. The list is endless. Now, let's talk about part B of the question. What is the scope of veterinary science based on your individual personality and goals? I highly recommend you do not opt for this course if you are only motivated by the money value. Reason? There are plenty of animals out there which are in dire need of medical care. They cannot verbally communicate their pain to us. Therefore, while working and diagnosing the animals, one needs to have a lot of patience. You should have that love and compassion in you that will keep you going. And you will have to be willing to responsibly work for a better world for animals. Having said all that, now let's talk about the next big question, how to actually become a veterinary doctor in India. For that, you will first have to clear your class 12th examinations with at least 50% score and your major subjects must be physics, chemistry and biology. Next, you should be minimum 17 and maximum 25 years of age. You will then have to appear for the neat entrance examination and score well above the cutoff. Once the results are out, you should now register yourself on the website of VCI that is Veterinary Council of India. Earlier, Veterinary Council of India used to have their own private entrance examination under the name of AIPVT, but this was replaced by NEET in 2017. Also, every state veterinary university used to earlier conduct their own entrance examination. This way, you could appear for counselling statewide as well as in all India through the result of two separate examinations. However, all these state examinations have been replaced by the NEET itself in 2019. VCI has certain percentage of seats reserved for all India counselling candidates in every university. Other than that, you should also keep a regular check on your state veterinary university and know more about their procedure. Now, once that's all done, you have cleared your NEET examination with a good score. You have uh, registered yourself on the VCI website and you have also registered yourself for the state-wise counselling of your state's veterinary university. Your job is done. Based on your merit score, you will be now called for different rounds of counselling 
and if your merit is high enough you'll finally get a seat into BBSE and animal husbandry in India. Now for the next 5.5 years you will be studying about all the amazing things about veterinary science including one year of compulsory internship. After that you will be finally eligible to call yourself a veterinarian in India and apply for your license and work for the better good of animals. That was all for the video guys. If you like my content, please make sure to like, subscribe and share this video with any neat aspirant that you may know that may benefit from this video. If you have any doubt, please put that down in the comment section and I will be happy to answer that. Thank you so much.